Uh, what was your first job? Did you have a job before wrestling, or did you go right into I wrestling? I did. I did. So I got my degree in uh, kinesiotic science, uh, exercise science, which is basically learning how to work out. So I moved out to. Uh, <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> it's an honorable profession. <laughs> Never once have I used my degree, but that's an honorable profession. <laughs> uh, student loans. Anyway, um, so I moved. <laughs> I moved out to uh, Los Angeles not to pursue performing arts, but to actually apply my degree, because then that was like the mecca of health and fitness. All and right. I ended up at the then the mecca of bodybuilding. This was right around Y2K, for those people who don't know what that is. Uh, so I moved to Gold's Gym Venice, and you I kind of worked there. You worked at Gold's Gym. Now, Gold's From Gym is like morning to midnight. Schwarzenegger worked out there, yeah, Lou very, Ferrigno. Very, now, it's, it's since changed because the dynamic of the whole neighborhood has changed, but then it was still really the epicenter of the health, fitness, and bodybuilding industry. So you would have a cast of characters going through there. It was... Like, what kind of guys were going through so, there? So they were all very big. Yeah. And each one of them tried to establish their own personality. They would fight each other in the gym. Really? They, they would be banned. And the, the real professional stunt, like you knew you were a pro's pro, the, the parking lot was always jam-packed. And you'd leave your car outside in the parking lot with the radio blaring and just come in and work out. Like, ah, keep it. Really? And just go in and work out. And I saw this stuff and I couldn't believe, like, these, these guys all could have been WWE superstars. They really? Had, yes, yes, they had the personality thing down. Wow, yeah. and none of them ever did. No, no, no. I, none of them got know. involved in that. They did not. And at that time, I think it was a little bit different. No, I mean, now it's like a know, real platform to was, things. Uh, there was this one guy. Well, there was you, yeah. Do you still go back there? Do you go back there and work out and and uh, tan your body? Is Worked it... out okay for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna see a clip from Bumblebee. Which, yes. By the, the way, movie everybody's gonna go see. Well, by the way, I saw this movie and it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it really is. It's good. It's action packed. For those who like Transformers and are fans of the franchise, it's action. Even for those but like if you me, don't know anything who don't like about Transformers. It. Yes, and if it's you're like you, like you're the Grinch to the Transformers. That's you just right. Outright hate them. We'll take a look. You're going to enjoy the movie. John Cena is here. We'll be right back. There. Get down there now and flush that thing out. That's John Cena and Bumblebee. I know this is Little Friday. <laughs> wow, it's like I'm in it with you. That's a fun movie. It you really got is. the uh, the robots, which yep. look fantastic, yes. and it's like funny, and there's like really a story there, and you got a lot of '80s music in it, yep. which I love. Cool period piece set in the '80s, and the cool thing I I actually really like about it is if this movie was filmed in the '80s, I would be the good guy. But instead, I'm the bad guy, and we have a beautiful young female lead, Haley Steinfeld, that just knocks it out of the park, and her and Bumblebee make this movie. It's, it's she really is a very, special. Yes, she is very, very good. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.